Hello chess lovers, Solid here and in today's video I want to share with you an amazing game played by Richard Ratty. Ratty is on the black side and he's playing against the future world chess champion Max Ave. This game is from their 1920 Amsterdam match. Ave opened up with e4 to which Ratty answered with e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, Italian game, knight f6, two knights defense and instead of going for this standard knight g5 continuation relying on the vulnerability of the pawn on f7, white uh, played d4 in the style of scotch game. He takes d4, white castled, white is gambiting but in return is gaining lead in development and now will get a very dangerous attack. Rook e1 is coming pinning the knight, d5 black is protecting it and bishop takes d5, bang. A temporary sacrifice but is allowing white to switch into the game the knight as well with a tempo. Knight c3, queen a5, knight takes d4. Modern analysis made by engines show that knight takes d4 is a mistake and better was going for knight takes e4. Let me tell you that earlier both players had played this position. Knight takes d4, queen takes d4. So white uh, first won a pawn but now black is getting a chance to protect his knight and we have f5. And you don't have a move like f3 you know because there is always this bishop c5 threat. And uh, now you can't even capture on e4 because you will get checkmated. So after f5 we have bishop g5. White is now connecting the rooks, is uh, creating a threat like queen d8 check, but it uh, turns out that Reti was okay with this threat and he played queen c5. Once again, earlier uh, both players had this position and in 1914 uh, Richard Reti had this position with the black pieces against Paul Kruger. Uh, in that game, yes, he played queen c5, which is the best continuation for black. While in 1919, uh, when Eve was playing against Gerard Kroon, the latter played bishop c5 and very quickly lost the game. Queen before knight d5, black resigned. So in here, queen c5 is the move. Definitely Ava didn't know about that kruger Ratty game, otherwise I don't think that he would enter these lines. So let's see what's going to happen next. Queen c5, allowing this check, king f7, knight takes e4, f takes e4, rook a d1, and a very strong move by Ratty. It's black to move. Bishop d6, a powerful deflective move. So now he is sacrificing an exchange, but in return is winning this bishop, thus placing his queen on an attacking square. And now bishop h3 is the threat, creating both a mating threat, also attacking the queen. f4, of course, even e takes f3 is playable in here, but Reti played queen h4. Rook takes e4, and now what? What to play? Already there is a threat like queen e8 check, right? That can be really unpleasant. Yes, yes, there comes bishop h3, another discovered attack. The second time Reti is developing his bishop with a tempo. The second rook sacrifice, queen takes a8, bishop c5 check. King h1, and now, and now, bishop takes g2. This is an amazing game, guys. King takes g2, queen g4 check, white resigned. If, for example, king f1, then check, and then checkmate. Uh, or if I move like king h1, then this time queen f3 is mating. Just a perfect game by Richard Reti. Wanted to take a look at that combination once again. 
let me reach up to move bishop d6 yes bishop d6 and then queen takes g5 f4 queen h4 rook takes e4 and bang the second rook sacrifice takes check and now comes the bishop sacrifice an amazing just a, an amazing game which can leave everyone speechless feel free to share this beauty with your friends as well in the chess puzzle for you a simple one the task is to win with the white pieces as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section thanks for watching we'll see you in my next video take care